everyone, this is Bob from Tech Geek SG. Today I have the LitTech WinFast GTX 460 from NVIDIA. Over here as you can see, uh, this is a 768MB of GDDR5. Uh, there's also another version which is of the 1GB of GDDR5 but currently we have. Here is the 768MB. It uses PCI Express 2.0 and it uses a silent heat sink. By right, this is actually a reference card from NVIDIA. And currently, uh, it's brought uh, into Singapore by Ban Leong, which has a two-year warranty. And basically, from the back, this is totally a new product, which just uh, was released a few days ago. And it boasts actually stunning gaming effects, as well as total immersion with a 3D vision technology. So this card actually does support NVIDIA 3D vision, as well as 3D surround technology, which allows you to run your graphics card in uh, multiple displays and use 3D on it. And also a new feature from the Fermi class of cards is that is the support for tessellation and which really increases the performance and uh, the clarity of the pictures itself. So uh, let's unbox this video right now, uh, I mean this video card right now. This is quite a new product so actually this is was this was a very hot selling item and this was actually the last card left on the shelf. Over here, let's look at the accessories. We have uh, a Molex, two Molex to one six pin power connector. There's another one, so you actually can infer that there's actually need for use of uh, two PCI Express six pin connectors. Then over here, we have a DVI to VGA connector or converter. Unboxing the card over here. This is the LeadTech Lead WinFast GTX 460. Over here we have, this is almost a new card, as you can see the branding here, WinFast GTX 460. I'll take off the plastic, just slowly. A little bit different from the reference card is actually that this has a very special looking blue instead of a normal black, which is of the NVIDIA or something you get from EVGA. And we have a fan over here, the LitTech fan. Okay, over here at the back, we have two PCI Express 6 pin connectors 6 pin connectors over here but right some of the cards they actually have the PCI Express 6 team at the pot at the top but currently we have uh, this card actually uh, the reference card itself is at the back uh, actually it can be some advantages because you have a neater cable management while if you have the PCI Express 6 pin uh, power connector at the top it may actually um, some 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 cases that are actually not that huge will support it will be easier for you to put it at the top then over here at the front we have one mini HDMI port and two DVI actually, actually you can change it to a uh, VGA via the DVI to VGA connect uh, converter okay some specifications about this card uh, firstly it uses uh, PCI Express 2.0 so you have the NVIDIA logo over here then after that we have a 336 CUDA cores with a graphics clock of 675 MHz. There are also actually uh, other variants that are actually of a factory overclock which actually does perform really well. And currently this actually can perform that is like um a, although although priced lower than a normal uh 5830 from ATR, this actually performs a lot better than the 5830 from ATI. And uh, the, for the price, it's around $100 lower than the current 5830 from ATI. Then, the uh, processor clock itself is at 1350 MHz, and the texture fill rate or uh, in billions in seconds is 37.8. So, the memory clock is at 1800 MHz with 192 bit of memory interface, and the memory bandwidth is at the 6.4 GB per second. So at the top over here, you can see actually uh, there's one there's one uh, SLI SLI bridge. Really. So this card actually supports two-way SLI. If it supports four-way, there will be actually another um, SLI connector over here. But so you can infer that this card only uh, supports a single SLI system. So it's a two-way SLI. There's a NVIDIA 3D Vision ready as well as a NVIDIA 3D Vision Surround ready. This card also supports NVIDIA Pure Video HD technology which means that uh, your pictures, that your, your movies will be actually clearer uh, from if you do a hardware, hardware installation from this card. 
and physics as well as CUDA and this is actually a Microsoft DirectX 11 card an OpenGL 4.0 support and it's actually certified for Windows 7 so uh, also download the latest drivers from NVIDIA.com yeah, although there is a the graphics driver is included but download the latest drivers and this actually okay this card supports a maximum resolution of 25360 by 1600 and uh, I think that's it or oh, one more thing that this is actually a HDMI that is a revision of 1.4a so that your if you connect one of your actually let me take a look okay so you actually can stream your HD audio directly through this card via a HDMI cable to your uh, maybe your full HD TV so that um, your so you do not need an extra v uh, audio cable to connect it to the TV and for the thermal and power specifications the maximum GPU temperature and degree Celsius is 106 degree uh, it could be on the high side because this is still a Fermi card and maximum graphics power draw is 150 watts and the minimum system power uh, in watts is 450 watts so make sure that your power supply actually supports two of the six pin if not you can use the PCI Express to Molex converter but make sure that you actually have a quite a beefy um, power supply to power this card for the length wise it's actually 8.25 inch which is quite long but may fit, may fit in most of the ATX cases these days on the market right now and this is actually a dual slot so make sure that you have clearance for the other end over here for if you are using uh, slots that are side by side oh yeah by the way um, there's also one thing to make note uh, if you get this card from Lead Tech uh, because we got it in Singapore you also come with a Razer Gold I don't know how to read this, but it's Goliath's gaming mouse pad. So over here, I think if I'm not wrong, this mouse pad costs almost like thirty dollars. But it actually comes free with the Lead Tech GTX 460, the GTX, uh, the WinFast GTX 460. So actually quite a good buy, uh, quite a steal from Nvidia, because it's really, really one of the best uh, price to performance ratio cut from Nvidia, and right, like giving a smack in ATS face and coming back into the market finally uh, I would say this is uh, bringing a Fermi card to the mainstream although this may be still considered uh, somewhere near the high the high performance level kind, which is if you get the, even a factory overclock version you can uh, it can easily beat the 40, the 5850 as well as the 5870 so uh, actually this is a very promising card and I know that it will sell very well uh, so do get your hands on one of them uh, thank you for viewing this video this unboxing video as, some, as well as some uh, specifications on it uh, I hope that you can view post some comments on this card as well as um, uh, can recommend me more products to take note of so that I can do a review and thank you for viewing this video I hope you have a nice day thank you for more information about this product, you can visit my blog at www.zoomycom.blogspot.com or feel free to email me at yzook.tagsg at gmail.com. Thank you.